guys welcome back or welcome to my channel it's been so 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 long since I've filmed a tutorial I just feel like it's been so long since I've been able to like play with makeup and this morning I woke up and all my cleaning is done like I finally feel like totally ready for baby if he were to come any day now um, I will link all my nesting cleaning videos down below if you want to see those but those are all done so today I just woke up and I was like I really really just want to play with makeup today and do a tutorial and it felt so so good so this is the look that I came up with I wanted to do something like super dramatic and smoky and just you know totally out there because it's just been so long since I played with makeup I feel like so I filmed this look for you guys I hope you enjoy it um, I don't think I have anything else to tell you so thank you so much for watching please subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in the next one Bye. All right, so I'm gonna start with priming my eyes with the Mac paint pot in painterly and then to set that I'm going into the Tardis Pro palette I'm gonna mix classic and vintage together and just set that primer so everything blends smoothly on top of it then for my transition shade, I'm going to pick up Innocent and just above this in the upper crease there and blend it out. Then right on top of that, I'm going to take Whimsy and do the exact same thing, just building up color and pigment and blending it out. And for our real pop of color, I'm going to pick up Mod, which is a really pretty pink shade. And I'm just going to put that on top of our two transition shades and build up the intensity that I like and just blend, 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 and build. Then I'm going to take Vamp and Smoked and mix those two really deep, dark, purpley brown shades together, together and just blend that on the outer V of the eye there and then I take the fluffy brush with no additional product and just continue to blend that out. I wanted the lid shade to really pop so I decided to take my Makeup Geek Foiled um, Z palette and use Magic Act and it's just a really pretty intense gold shade so I just um, start building this up on the lid and uh, then after that I'm going to go back into Smoked and Vamp and just blend it in with the uh, Magic Act color there on the lid. Then off camera, I'm going to apply some Ardell lashes. These are in 110s. And then I'm going to take a makeup remover wipe and just clean up any fallout or anything that may have landed on my face. And then for primer today, I'm using the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. After that's settled into my skin, I'm going to take the Maybelline Matte Poreless and I'm mixing shades 112 and 122 together just to get my perfect shade. It actually was a little bit light, I should have gone a little darker, but once we get everything on my face it looks fine. But I'm just going to dab that on my face and then blend it out with a damp beauty blender. <music> I decided to cream contour today so I'm using the Smashbox step-by-step um, -step contour sticks just taking the contour shade here going underneath the cheekbone on the forehead and the jawline just in the usual places that I would contour and then for concealer I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Fix concealer and just put that under the eyes just to cover up the dark circles and then I do go in with the um, another Smashbox uh, contour stick but in the highlight shade and then I'll just uh, put that everywhere that I want to highlight so forehead chin and you know all those usual places and then I just blend everything out with a damp sponge <music>
And to set the contour, I'm gonna go in with this Marc Jacobs Duo in 40 Mirage filter and just take the contour side of it and um, you know set the contour the cream contour with that and then for the highlight to set that I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier translucent um, powder and I'm going to bake with that <music> And for blush, I'm going to use the Physicians Formula Butter Blush in Plum Rose. Then while that bake is still sitting on my face, I decided to fill in my brows with the Goop Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. <laughs> I'm gonna brush off uh, that setting powder and for highlight today I'm using the Anastasia highlight in the shade summer <laughs> up the eyes I'm gonna go back into that pinky shade called mod and I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line slightly taking it from the outer V all the way into the inner corner and then I don't show it but I do pick up smoked and vamped and um, those are the two really dark plum shades and I just take that on the outer V just to smoke it out a little bit more and I'm gonna hit the top and bottom lashes with the L'Oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara classic and vintage together again and this is going to be my inner corner highlight and my highlight under my brow bone. lips I'm going to take the Anastasia liquid lipstick in pure Hollywood and then once that dries I'm going to go on top of it with a buxom gloss in white Russian and then just to set everything I'm going to take the Too Faced uh, new Hangover X 3-in-1 um, primer and setting spray and just to set my face with this stuff I am so so in love with this stuff it's amazing so I just take that and um, set my face and that is the finished look you guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in my next one bye